Okay, so today we're talking about superfoods. And what I've listed up above this video are my top 10 superfood list, uh, the ones that I enjoy the most. And like I said before, it was so hard to narrow it down just to 10. Uh, I love food, and uh, I really like a lot of the foods that are on the superfood list that we incorporate into our daily meals. So what I want to do is I'm just going to quickly go through those 10 that I've listed and talk a little bit about each one and how I incorporate it into my meals. Uh, maybe give you a few extra ideas of what you can do. Um, but like I said, there are endless, endless ways to incorporate these foods into your daily diet. So let's get right to it. Uh, the first one was avocado. And oh man, I love avocados. Um, the two main ways that I like to eat them are I slice them up and I put them on my salads. And I eat a lot of salad. Um, so they're really good on that. Uh, another way that I eat my avocado is if we're having a good healthy soup, I like to slice them up and throw them in with my soup. Um, and it is really good that way. You know, the first time I saw that in a restaurant, I wasn't too sure about it, but I went ahead and ordered it and tried it, and man, I wouldn't go back. I love avocados in my soup. So that's just a couple ways I eat those. Uh, number two on the list was broccoli. And I'm sure broccoli is probably a main staple in a lot of people's diets already, so you know a lot of different ways you can eat broccoli. Um, we eat ours steamed with uh, different seasonings on it. Um, and those seasonings are usually like no salt seasonings. Um, they're like, you know, a little bit of basil and oregano and maybe a little bit of sea salt on there. Um, and lots of other different combinations. I won't list them all. Uh, I also like putting a little bit of broccoli in when I have my salads. Um, I also like to make kind of a broccoli salad where I just have raw broccoli. I dice up a tomato. I put some of that in there and then some shredded carrots. And then I drizzle just a little bit of my salad dressing on there. And, you know, I'll eat that as part of my meal, uh, as my vegetable. And I, I love that. I love broccoli. Um, so there's that. Then kale. I know a lot of people have never tried kale. Um, you've probably seen it a lot sometimes. It's garnishment on plates at restaurants. And yes, kale can be a little bit bitter sometimes, so it turns a lot of people off. There are ways to get rid of that bitterness. I'm not going to go into it now. So go on the internet and find ways um, to cook kale. I usually use it as my main lettuce in my salad. Because um, that's just the way I really like it. Uh, and it's so, so good for you. That, that I eat it you know, two, three times a week at least uh, in a salad. Another way you can make kale, and I haven't tried this yet, I keep meaning to, is to make kale chips. Uh, and I know basically what you do is you get some kale and you tear them into bite-sized pieces. You drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on it, mix it all up, throw just a little bit of sea salt in with it, and then you spread it out over a, uh, a pan and you put it in the oven for I think it's maybe five or six minutes at like 350 degrees. I'm not sure on that, so look it up. And then when you take it out, it's like a crunchy potato chip. Um, but without all the grease and fat and other junk that potato chips uh, have in it. So try that sometime. I'm, I'm eventually going to try it. I really am. Uh, the next on my list was spinach. A lot of people, I'm sure, eat spinach. Uh, I mainly eat it in my salad as well. Usually I'll mix... Uh, spinach and kale together as my lettuce. Uh, and then we mix it in a lot in our other dishes that we eat. Uh, like we have one dish that's a tomato, mushroom, spinach, uh, mixture. It also has some onion in there that's we heat it in a pan that we get it nice and hot. And then we mix it with some chicken, sometimes with some rice. Uh, with a lots of other different seasonings. Sometimes we spice it up with some cayenne pepper. But one of the main ingredients is in, it, in it is the spinach. And it is so good that way. But you can add spinach to so many of your dishes. Uh, like I said, just look this stuff up on the internet. Find some recipes. Really good. Really good for you. Sweet potatoes. 
I absolutely have fallen in love with sweet potatoes over this past year. Uh, sometimes we just wrap them in foil and bake them in the oven and have them plain like that. Sorry, you need to leave off the butter and your sugar and your marshmallows and all that topping. That just makes them crap, okay? It may taste really good, but you might, no. Just, just eat them plain. They're really good that way, too. Um, but one of the ways I found else that I really like it, especially when it's warm outside and we grill, is I dice up a sweet potato and I mix it with a little bit of garlic, a green onion, a little bit of sea salt, um, and some basil. And I mix that all up in a bowl and then I put it in some tin foil and I grill it for about 50 minutes. Uh, every five minutes I uh, flip it over so it doesn't always just, you know, cook on one side. Um, and that is really, really good. So some grilled sweet potatoes. Fantastic. Um, number six on the list was tomatoes. I'm sure everybody eats a lot of tomatoes, so I'm not even sure where to start on those. I mean, there's so many ways you can eat them. You know, we eat them sliced. It's some, it really is a main staple in a lot of food that we eat. Um, it's on one of our, um, pizzas that we eat, which we're getting ready to have. Um, uh, in fact, tomorrow I have to go buy 14 tomatoes for our next couple of meals. One is a uh, bruschetta chicken and, the, and then the other is that pizza that I was talking about. So we use a lot of tomatoes. Bananas, I mean, come on, who doesn't? Who doesn't eat bananas? You know, I eat them in my oatmeal every morning. Uh, occasionally I'll have one or a half of one right before my workout because they're a great uh, way to give you just that little bit of energy boost right before your workout. Um, blueberries, another thing that I love to put in my oatmeal in the morning, so I'll do, I'll put blueberries and bananas in there. Uh, sometimes I'll just have a handful as a snack. Uh, you know, it, it's a lot healthier to grab a handful of blueberries than it is a handful of potato chips or a candy bar. You know, so it's great that way. Um, quinoa. This is one that is actually brand new to me. We've just started eating this in the past three, four months, and I really like it. So we're trying different recipes with it. Uh, the ones we have found that we prefer are when we eat it cold. So we make the quinoa, uh, and then we mix it in with some vegetables and some seasoning and just a little bit of olive oil, and we eat it that way. Um, so look some of those recipes up online. You can find quite a few for quinoa. It is so good for you. You can eat it hot, kind of like an oatmeal type uh, meal. Uh, I don't prefer to eat it that way, uh, but you might. So check it out. It's really good for you. It's something new that I've just uh, found. It's great. Uh, the last one I've got on my list is almonds. And, you know, this works great for me as a snack to grab, you know, a small handful Usually once a day I'll have a small handful of almonds. Um, but the one thing that I did find that I missed when I stopped eating all that junk food that I used to eat was the crunch of potato chips. I mean, I'd go through almost an entire bag of potato chips at one sitting. <laughs> um, so these really help with that because they're crunchy. Um, they do fill you up pretty quick. Uh, so they, you know, eliminate that craving of that you're hungry. Um, and they do have a little bit of a sweet flavor to them, and they are really, really good for you. So I love almonds. We have, we buy them by the three-pound bag. I think we have three of them in our cupboard right now because we got a good deal on them. But anyway, so there's my top ten list, uh, kind of ways that I eat them. There are many, many other ways that we incorporate those in our diet. I just don't have time to go through them all. This post has already ran on a lot longer than I thought it would. But like I said in the post, please... Go through a, soup, a list of superfoods. Find ones that you don't know if you like or not and try them. You might be surprised. But if you incorporate more of the superfoods into your diet, you're automatically going to be eating a lot healthier than you were before. So that's just the one quick tip I have for you. So I hope this helped you out a little bit. Let me know if it did. Let me know if it didn't. So until later, adios.